Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a critique on KiwiCuba's 3.45 Pyraminx average. Let's get right into it. Alright, so now for the first solve. This was a 3.78 and the scramble will be at the top of the screen now. So what she did here was she did the yellow V and she held it like this. Um, so she went like this. She did a U and a back tip. And then kind of did like an L to like make it like the blue facing the front. But I think she did something like that. I'm not sure. And then she like kind of rotated here. And then she put this edge and matched it with the center before putting it in. Yeah, and then she put this one into the back, preserving this block with U, L, U prime, L prime. And then she did this two flip L, which is just the front two, which with which is sledge, right insert, U prime. So when I'm inspecting para, I normally look for the centers that are attached. For example, this whole block is attached, so uh, these three colors are in place so i would have a look at blue first and blue can be moved down well like this two centers can be moved down with r prime l but i also look to see if anything can be paired up while i do that so i can pair this one up here by doing a u and then an r prime l and i'll probably do the back tip solve this into the back with r prime u prime r rotate and then you get an l3 yeah, so your solution for that wasn't that bad, but yeah. The second scramble, a 3.16. The scramble will be at the top of the screen. Okay, so what she did here was she did red V. And she solved it like this. So I think she went the left tip and then she put this center down to match it uh, while putting this block in with L. And then she did U prime, R prime, rotated. And then she did this case, which is just insert. And then she did a tip. And then she did this case with the last tip. Firstly, I think you may have not seen this, but there's a two move uh, blue V, which leads, I guess, to a worse case, but still, it's a faster V. So, firstly, back to what you did, you did the red V, and you went, you only did one tip at the start, but in this case, it's actually quite easy to do all three tips, which you can just do the, the top and the back with this finger trick, which is like... Uh, yeah, I'm not explaining. You can just do that and then that and then you can go into your solution Which will probably be more smooth because um, I think when you solved the back You kind of had a pause to do one of the t to do one of the tips. So you did it like this And then you paused you did that and then you did this and then you did that speaking about the two move blue V yeah, I think this is much better because you can like finger trick it way more easily. So you can do these two tips like this and then you can do LR and then I don't know what alg you use for this but I'm assuming you use the one which is just insert and then just do this alg. But I use this better alg which is just sledge, U, left insert and then I'll just do the tip. The third solve, a 2.70. The scramble was actually quite nice and you took advantage of it, which is good. Okay, so for this scramble, what you did was blue V and you solved the two, the first two tips with 
UL, and then you just should UL. And then you solved the back with U prime, R U prime, R prime, and they did U, L prime, U prime, L tip. That's actually quite good because your turning was actually very nice, and your turning is just very nice in general, actually. Uh, yeah, so one thing I would recommend is try not rotating for the V. Um, but what you did was actually quite good. You did these two tips first, which I actually think is quite good. You did U, L, rotate, and yeah, you solved the rest, which is actually quite good. You could use B moves and do U, B, but I don't recommend that with your level because it's kind of hard for me anyways. So another solution I think I would recommend is by solving the V without any rotations and you can do it from this angle by preserving this block at the bottom and then solving this one to the back with R prime, U prime, R and then put that down and then that kind of gives it a better case. But before you start I think you should just do the top and the back tip so that you don't have to worry doing the back at the end so you can just do these two insert and then down u and then do your alg and then tip the third solve a 3.44 this was a very nice time again you actually very consistent which is good uh, there are no blocks in the scramble, which I'm actually quite impressed by, because you actually did really well on this. So, you did yellow V, and you solved it like this. You solved the center first, with U, R, to take that one out first, and then you inserted this one. Oh, sorry, you did the tip, then you insert this one. Insert this one to the back, while preserving this, with U, R prime, U, R. And then you kind of rotated, U, sledge, and then two tips. So, something I would recommend you to do is maybe the red V because it's actually a nicer solution. Let's just ignore the tips for now. Uh, so, whenever you have a center already solved, always put that like in the back, like here. And then you look uh, to see if the front has the two other centers. And if they do, then always look for the other edges on the top. If you do, then you should see what goes here and what goes here. So you can just do U prime, R prime. And in fact, they actually made <laughs> a very nice V, which you can just do with U prime, R prime. And then you can rotate and then you can do your alg. But yeah, that solver is actually quite well executed, but just try recognizing some other V's around the cube. The last solve, a 3.76. Okay, so in this scramble, you did yellow V, and you solved it like this. Tip. U prime, L prime. Rotate. Uh, you solved the back with R prime U prime R. You solved the tip. Then you did hedge U hedge tip. I think I would do red, and I would solve it by putting this center down with this tip. So I can just do this tip and then put it up, and then I can do these two tips, and then instead of putting this down. You can actually cancel into inserting this to the back with R, U, R. I can rotate and then do my ALG. And for this ALG, I wouldn't just insert it because then that will be too flip, but you can cancel into it. Uh, I would just do something like uh, use my thumb, U, and then insert. So overall, your solves are actually very good. But there's just some minor changes that you can do, which is bro. Uh, reducing rotations and trying to look at better V's and find ways to solve pieces while solving the centers and yeah I think that's it um, maybe try spamming TPS a bit but yeah I think that's all uh, yeah thank you to Cuba for sending me 
her video to critique. Remember to like and subscribe, and and please go subscribe to Kiwi Kubo. She makes very nice content. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.